Okay, so I figured that I should do a mid booktubeathon update since I haven't made any videos and I think that's part of the point of doing booktube-a-thon. Anyway, so I just finished my third book. So the books that I've read so far are Bluebeard by Kurt Vonnegut, Norse Mythology by Neil Gaiman, and The Body in the Library by Agatha Christie. So Bluebeard by Kurt Vonnegut. I realized that I chose maybe not the most fast-paced books for the book Tubathon when I read this book, but I did really enjoy this book. It, so it is a hoax autobiography of um, Rabo Karabikian, who is at the end of his life and he was an abstract artist but failed at that because he has he doesn't paint soul and his autobiography is very fluid it's not linear at all and I really enjoyed that I, I just I don't know why I like this book so much but I did and so that was really fun then Norse Gods by Neil Gaiman this is the story of the Norse gods. So my familiarity with Norse gods before was Saga of the Volsungs, which is traditional, historical, whatnot, but follows a family more than it follows the Norse gods. And then also Rick Riordan's Magnus Chase series. And so it was really nice having something kind of in between where it, I'm sure, follows more closely since Rick Riordan's retelling is modern and reimagining and whatnot, where this is the more historical stories, but in an updated way, so it was easier to follow, and I did listen to the audiobook as well as follow along in the book. I really enjoy listening to Neil Gaiman's books read by Neil Gaiman. I think they're wonderful. He's a wonderful narrator as well as writer. So this book was much more fast-paced and I really enjoyed it. And then Body in the Library by Agatha Christie. I did finish this book in one day. Yay! It's a small book, but I was a little bit stressed. And now that I've got that challenge out of the way, I feel like I can you now breathe. Especially now that we're halfway through the booktube a and I'm kind of halfway through books. But this book is about a murder and body in the library and I like when mysteries make me feel smart what because I can you know guess who did it and be right and whatnot but that rarely happens and I definitely did not know who the murderer was in this book but it was a great adventure and the cast of characters were nice this was my first Miss Marple and I do enjoy her I like how she is kind of in the detective field, but there isn't the need to make her masculine. Anyway, so I did start Junior Ray by John Pritchard. I'm like on page one of chapter one. I realized this was a poor, poor decision on my part to choose for a book a thon I thought, you know, it's short and I was looking forward to it being written in dialect, and then I started reading it, I'm like, right, I love listening to stories that have dialect. Reading them is a bit harder, but once I get into the flow of it, it'll go faster. I'm not too sure if I'll finish this one for the book to -thon, but I will finish it one day. So, and then I actually haven't technically started Woman Howling Creek and other stories because the audiobook that I got for this starts out with Loose Woman and Other Poems by Sandra Cisneros. Cisneros, Cisneros. I don't know, I need to listen to the proper way to pronounce her name. But I am really enjoying the poetry even though it is... So I, this is the book that I decide to read outside. And so I was out 
in public flower garden, you know, kids running around, old people running around, and her poems are very sensual. And so it was just a bit like, hee <laughs> hee, I'm listening to those kind of poems in public. I mean, earphones in, but it still made me giggle a bit. But her prose is also very poetic sounding, so I am looking forward to getting to the stories, but I am enjoying the poems. Tomorrow I will start one of my other books that are hopefully faster paced. I don't know. We'll see how everything goes. But that is where I'm at in the book Tubathon. I hope that you guys are having a wonderful book Tubathon that's going well, or at least that you are enjoying it, even if you're not on schedule. Um, Hope you're having an amazing day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!